bum 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 Supposedly, Hacker's Memory sold less than Cyber Sleuth. Yeah, I kind of expected that because Hacker's Memory was like a, uh... Hacker's Memory didn't, like, super innovate on it. So, I can understand people, especially who aren't, like, really into Digimon, would get it if they already had Cyber Sleuth. Also, it still, like, didn't have an English dub, which was lame. The complete edition sold over 1.5 million units. That's really good! For a re-release? That's really good! Or I don't understand what makes good sales in the video game market, one or the other. I've always been under the impression that if you sell over a million units, like, that's a success, for the most part. Also, yeah, that was only on Switch. They didn't even put that on PlayStation. Which still makes me mad. Like, isn't a really good... Yeah, it was also on PC. Isn't a really good barometer of, uh, of a game selling well how fast it gets to one million? And if it even gets to a million in the first place, like, that's a, usually a success in most cases. Why can I not get a Prissy Octomon? I also have the complete edition. I bought it when it came out. We're gonna try this one more time, by the way. Yeah, I own Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, Digimon Story Hacker's Memory, and Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition, or whatever the full title is. Good games, super worth. This is your last chance, you stupid octopus. Come on, come on. I hate it here. All right, we'll deal with that later. Do I still have my physical copy of Digimon World Data Squad for the PlayStation 2? I should go looking through my PS2 games and see if I do. I'm pretty sure I must have told this story in a playthrough before, but... Does anyone remember about me telling the story about how I wasn't allowed to have... Digimon World Data Squad, the game for the PS2, because it was rated 13 and up, and I was like... I was like 11 or 12 at the time, and it was like rated for foul language or something like that. I had to basically, um, I had to basically beg my grandfather to convince my parents to let me get it. And then my grandfather said, only if you tell me if the language is like actually really bad and like, etc. And I think the only thing that was bad language in that game was like the Beomon said, kiss my butt, but didn't say butt at some point. That's the only thing I remember being foul in that game language wise. But uh, I almost didn't get to play that game because my parents were like, you're 12 and this says PG-13, you idiot. Do you not know how to count? And then my grandfather like bought it for me and let me play it like at his house. And when my parents were about it, he was like, it's not that big, but he's 12, get over it and took the heat for it, which is one of the many reasons I love my grandfather. Dude, I hate Digimon World Data Squad, but the Digimon World Data Squad, like, PS2 game was actually, like, decent. Especially as far as Digimon games go. Uh, let's do the Gold Tamer thing. I'm not even sure if we're, like, strong enough for this, but I assume we are. I'm gonna be a Gold Tamer, let's go! I got a little turned around for a second there. Chat, we can do this. We can totally do this. Are you ready to go to the battle stage? I sure as heck am. All right then, good luck. The Xbox servers are still down. This is not cash money. It was me. I attacked Mr. Xbox directly. 
I was mad at him for shutting down the studio that made Hi-Fi Rush, even though I never played Hi-Fi Rush. So, you know, they get what they deserve. Next Chaos is going to tell the laser tag story? <laughs> Shut up. Vincent's, why do you know more about my childhood than I do? Welcome, Ko. I'm Giselle, and I'm in charge of the gold tamer test. Don't underestimate me. Got it, Ko. Ah, take this seriously. Just because you're doing well these days, don't let it get to your head. You'll be sorry. I'll have to teach you a lesson. That's it. That's the attitude I want to see. Let's begin. Here goes. We'll now begin the gold tamer test. Ready, begin. They shut down the studio that made Hi-Fi Rush? Yeah, they like bought the studio that made Hi-Fi Rush and then shut them down. You didn't see this? The internet was infuriated about it for like, I don't know, a week, a week and a half. Okay, judging on the speed tiers here, I should be fine. I think Boncho Leomon is going to be easier to kill because I have so many fire moves, so we should focus on that first. But I also think Lampmon has Flash Ray, so actually we should focus on Lampmon because Flash Ray confusion is annoying. Ooh, that didn't do as much damage as I hoped. I'm gonna double Megiddo flame you. No, I should have done double Volcano Napalm. I forgot I have Volcano Napalm. This is really good damage though, so I'm not that upset about it. Sylphimon is gonna end up being relegated to uh, item user here. I think Boncho Leomon, yeah, I was about to say, Boncho Leomon is gonna be the one who does the most damage, so I probably should aim for him first, but I'm worried about status effect nonsense. This fight, I'm realizing, is going to be 100% determined by if I can kill Lampmon before they, like, kill all of my Digimon. Because, man, these guys hit hard. Please don't kill anyone here, Lusamon. Nice. I should live that. Okay, good, good. I also should have bought better healing than... I'm gonna go ahead and use a full DigiR because we're actually at our most vulnerable right now at the start of the fight. I should have bought more like good DigiR before this. I didn't even think about it. Megiddo Flame does so much more damage than that. We have to use Megiddo Flame instead. I gotta kill this Lampmon immediately. Really wish you hadn't crit me there. Yep, there's Flash Ray. That's why I've been aiming at you. Don't be confused. Thank you. Do I have anything that can heal this? Anti-brain T? Yes. Perfect. Alright, Lusamon, please don't hit Megidramon. I hate you. How dare you use my blast against me? I think I actually heal Megidramon with a full DigiRS here is the right play. Because Megidramon is doing the most damage, I need to Megiddo Flame Lampmon. Yeah, and then we can heal again with Sylphimon. I just need to last long enough to get one of them dead, because then we'll have, like, more turns total, and we'll be able to come out on top. Do this. No, not Flash Ray! Literally any other move, please. I mean, at least we're not getting hit, but now we're at the whims of RNG. Don't crit my bird. Dang it. Vigidramon, please don't get confused. Ow. I want to attack so badly, but I actually need to heal. Do I have a full repair T? Yep. Really should have bought items before doing this fight, by the way. That was stupid of me. Not to. I couldn't risk Silphimon being confused there, because if Silphimon was confused there, we probably, like, straight up lost. Hyper Tornado! We are probably fine on health, but I'm worried about a crit killing Megidramon, because Megidramon is the one that does the most damage here, so I'm doing a heal. Oh, this is a triple hit, isn't it? More Greymon, don't die to the second one. Thank you. Okay, we can res you with Sylphimon. This is gonna be fun.
I think we would have, like, pretty much a guaranteed win here if I had bought more items before this, but because I forgot about buying items, we're actually in a really dangerous spot. I just gotta get this Lampmon, dang it! I gotta get this Lampmon out of here. All right, that shouldn't do too much. And we can heal with Sylphimon, which means you get to attack, which is awesome. Double crit is fantastic. I only have a full DigiRS. Do I have a, a full, I do have a full repair D. I think I, I need the full heal on Wargreymon and Megidramon here, because Lusamana and Boncho Leomon get to attack. Ooh, that's not good. Sylphiamon is gonna be able to take all three at least, so it's not hitting one of the others, but now I have to like use Wargreymon's turn to res. Which sucks. Please get the kill here. Ooh, thank you for the crit. Whoo! All right. This is where things start to go our way on the upswing. I am realizing how few revivers I have now, which is a problem, but I think we're still probably okay. Getting a Sylphiamon turn here is actually so awesome. I don't have any more DigiR 300 or 600 Ts either, do I? Wow, yeah, I am so unprepared for this fight. We are going to go buy so much stuff after this fight. Like, so much. Is this the Insta KO ability? Oh, it's a stun. That also sucks, but it's not as bad as I thought. Ow! Yeah, not having a 600T is like a really big deal here. Ugh. Man, I wish I had bought more stuff before this. Megidramon is as good as dead. I should probably let him die and then res him. Try and keep War Greymon alive. Now we're at the part where I really, you know what, wait, do I have another full Digiar? I should full Digiar Megidramon is what I should do here to make sure that he can actually get a turn. Yeah. Now I really need to kill the Lusamon and once the Lusamon is dead, it's like basically over and done. Because I'm so low on items, we actually could still lose this, unfortunately. That's a good turn for us. But it's still, I think it's still in our favor. Chaos, can you undo the destruction to the Xbox servers? Tell them to bring back the, the Hi-Fi Rush people and maybe I'll consider it. I think 300T is actually the play here. Good damage, good damage. Yeah, I'll undo the Xbox server damage when you buy a PlayStation 5. Good call, chat. That's a fair trade. Dang, I was hoping that wouldn't kill. I was really hoping that wouldn't kill. I think I have to res here. Instead of attack with Megidramon. I hope it immediately gives Sylphiamon a turn. You have a PS5? Well, why do you even care about the Xbox servers then? What do they mean to you? Oh, you have the Spider-Man PS5. Whoa, okay, dude's out here flexing, my bad. Oh, you're literally just using it for Halo? Well, honestly, I have always said that if you're gonna have an Xbox, the only acceptable reason is because of Halo, so. Uh, you've actually backed me into a corner here. I'll see what I can do about the Xbox servers. It might take a little bit, though. I do not like this position I'm in right now. I should probably try and do some healing shenanigans here, but I, there's a chance I could kill Lusamon. No, come on! I don't think it would have died without a crit, but still, Megidramon, please live that. Dang it. Well, now I definitely don't have a chance to kill him. I have to take this opportunity to, like, heal and revive. Oh, I'm getting so low on revives. 
I think Sylphimon is dead no matter what. I should probably focus on a Digiar heal. Chat, why didn't any of you remind me to go buy stuff before this fight? What the heck, chat? Why'd you let me down like that? I actually wouldn't even mind if this kills, because then I can use a Digi Reviver D. It didn't kill. Well, wait, this means I can do this now. I need Lusamon to die here. Okay, good. Why couldn't I get that crit last time? Woo! All right! Do I have a full Digi-R? No, I don't. Dare I Digi-R 600 Megidramon, hope War Greymon dies, and then do a Digi Reviver D? I think that's actually the play. I need him to not use Flash Punch here. No! Well, we might have actually just lost because he Flash Punched. Live this. Oh my goodness, by the skin of my teeth. Holy cow, I saw my life flash before my eyes. How anime is this, chat? Oh, I'm out of single revives anyway. You can use single revives on one Digimon, but like, it's not as effective. I think I do a DigiR 300 here, actually. If Megidramon dies, he dies, I'll res him. Uh, we, we should have this. We can like, we can't coast necessarily because I'm still so low on items and he does that much damage. But uh, we should be fine. Emphasis on should. It really depends on how much damage Megiddo Flame does here. Beautiful crit. Yeah, it's not doing as much damage as I was hoping to be honest, but those crits are so nice. Oh, those are so nice. I have one full repair S. I don't think I really want to use that here. I think this is another 300 T scenario. That's my last 300 T. Holy cow, I'm about to go spend so much money on items, you have no idea. That's annoying. I think it's actually full repair on War Greymon here. But res Sylphimon first, because it might actually let Sylphimon have a turn before Bancho Leomon. Nice. I know Megidramon is low on MP, but I can't really afford to worry about that right now. Full repair on you. You cannot Megiddo Flame again unless I give you MP. So I need to do that, because Megiddo Flame is what is making this fight doable. Ah, oh, thank you for using Winning Punch, and only hitting Sylphimon at that. What a relief. Sylphimon, I know you need HP, but you are definitely using your turn to give Megidramon MP, because Megidramon might just be able to win this. On this turn. Well, chat, this one was, uh... This one was super- it's not over yet, but it basically is. This one was super close, holy cow. Woo, we're done. Megidramon carried this one. Nice 10,000 experience, about what I was hoping for, give or take. It didn't get Megidramon and more Greymon as high as I thought it would. Flaremon is level 53, and he is almost level 54, though, which is pretty much exactly what I wanted to see. It also didn't get Vilemon as high as I wanted, but it is what it is. We'll definitely be able to get Lady Devamon before Grand Drachmon, which is what matters. Yo, Dark Claw, great move. Goodbye, Sharp Claw. You're evil now. Mini Blade, Surprise Blow, Normal Blade. Do that, I guess. Winner, Ko! Oh no, I lost. Darn, Ko. You sure are strong. I see why Litten speaks highly of you. From now on, you're a gold tamer. We want you to continue to work hard. And congratulations, heh <laughs> Yeah, I'll think about it.